Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how you can paint beautiful watercolor flower paintings using a little bit of control. So a lot of people always ask me how can they use inks without losing control of the inks because inks tend to flow if you're using a wet on wet technique. So I'm going to show you how you can do that. So I'm using Liquitex ink, Winsor & Newton ink, and I'm also using a creamy watercolor in number 55. The Chinese watercolor and I'm using a hard damn gouache paint so basically I'm using a wet on wet technique where I'm wetting the paper first and then I'm going to put the watercolor or the ink into the wet areas I'm using arches watercolor paper in cold press so it's a bit of a rough texture that is going on to and I am going to mix together first the Liquitex ink in magenta and I'm also going to mix that with the gouache paint so I've mixed it together at the tip of my brush and as you can see I have control on how I'm painting the petals the the, um, the ink in the gouache is moving a little bit so it's flowing into the water a little bit but just enough so that I have control on where it's going so if you're not comfortable with using just inks yet you feel like your inks are just kind of flowing out of control this is a way to just practice and as you get more comfortable, you can just use less and less of gouache paint until you're just comfortable with just putting purely inks down. Okay, so I am drawing this flower very, very loosely still, just mimicking the shapes of the flower. And I like to draw flowers a lot of times as if they've been sitting for a few days. So the texture or the petals on these flowers are very close now, but of course, as it sits for a few days, they'll start to bloom. So that's how I'm painting this flower today. And this brush that I'm using, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check it out. It's um, usually a calligraphy brush and it's made out of goat hair. So it holds a lot of the substance, a lot of the ink. So for the stem, I'm using an acrylic ink in green and I'm mixing it together with that Chinese watercolor so that's a creamier texture again so it's giving it a lot of definition okay so for the tips of the flower I'm purely using just ink just the Liquitex ink I'm using an angled brush you can, you, you can use any kind of brush with a tip on it I really love brushes with an angle to get the lines very fine and pointy and we're going to use water to blend this out because we don't want any kind of hard lines on a fluid watercolor painting especially when it's flowers so anytime you feel like you put down too many lines or if it's too detailed just use water to blend it out all right so i'm going back with my brush i mix it with a little bit of the yellow color and i'm just putting a little bit more definition on the flower petals to separate it all right guys, and that's pretty much it. If you want us to add more detail, of course you can take a color pencil or a marker or more gouache paint to add a few lines within the flower petals. Okay, so to the side, I'm just drawing the same flower, just a smaller version, and I'm using a little bit less of the gouache paint and more of a line type drawing. And I have a video on how to do line drawings with flowers which I'll leave below as well. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I will come back with another video on how to mix together those three medium squash watercolor ink to get more control over your flowers, but still have that very fluid effect. All right, I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you know the name of that flower, please leave it in the description box below. Ciao.